this video we are going to talk about uh, proportional hydronic balancing method so let's begin the proportional method as we see here in this uh, uh, photo we have uh, unbalanced hydronic system uh, the chiller has 300 GPM and the targeted flow for each coil uh, shall be 75 GPM while because it is unbalanced uh, system uh, the, the near the circulator the nearest coil to the circulator will get 120 GPM while the furthest unit will get 40 GPM only so uh, if we are doing the balancing if we having the balancing valve in this balance system uh, we will get actually the right and the targeted flow for each coil as we see here and as we are going to see in this video why we are using balancing we are doing the balancing actually because in near the near the circulator or the pump the nearest units in the circuit or in the system will suffer from the high delta P it, it will uh, have more delta P because the flow will be thus the flow will be reduced uh, will be more thus the flow of this unit will be more if there is no balancing valves uh, while in the furthest unit we will get the minimum delta P and the minimum flow as we seen before also so this actually uh, uh, the, the delta p is uh, reduced in the delta p2 and delta p3 until we reach the far the further unit which is delta p4 which is the less delta p according to actually 90.1 chilled water uh, 5 horse uh, power and larger at 50% load must save 70% of full flow power variable volume flow systems uh, in the variable flow systems we have variable speed pumps uh, energy saving for part load and we have variable volume of water to match demand we can use two port control valve with commissioned by combination of proportional balancing and PICV differential pressure control valves and uh, DPCV sorry DPCV and PICV uh, differential pressure control valve and pressure independent combination valves so if we reduce the flow up to 75 percent from 80 to 60 for example we will get we will reduce the head and we will reduce the pump rpm as well and thus we are going to reduce the uh, pump power according to the formula uh, which will have power saving of 38.7 percent why we need balancing valve it is a quick and easy accurate and balancing of HVAC systems it is durable to maximize investment of building owner it is low or no maintenance it is low in inertial uh, cost quick and, quick and easy installation it is minimum energy consumption when operating concept of proportional balancing balancing is dependent on two basic principles the adjustment of a valve in a sub-circuit alters the flow not only in the sub-circuit but also in other circuits within the system. If such an adjustment reduces the flow in the sub-circuit, then the flow elsewhere must increase as the total mass flow rate is constant. Second, if water flows through a pipe which has a number of branches, then the percentage of the total flow in each branch remains constant irrespective of how the total flow alters 
What are the methods of proportional balancing? 36 CCD is the code and Basri Applications Guide 20 slash 95. The commissioning of water systems and buildings. We have the proportional balancing, one of this method. And the initial objective is to obtain the same percentage of the total flow rate in each part of the system. Actual flow rates during commissioning are unimportant. Uh, we have the proportional procedure, proportional method procedure, as already discussed, when multiple terminals units connected to a branch are connected in parallel circuits, any change of the differential pressure value in the nodes may proportionally change the flow rate in all units. Consider the circuit shown in figure, figure 2.3 where the available differential pressure is expressed by dp a equal to dph minus dpstp and change for example the setting and therefore the pressure drop in the stp balancing valve so the dpa is four times larger we will get twice the flow rate in each terminal unit q1 q2 q3 q4 this means that any variation outside the dp value will change the flow rate par in parallel connected terminals units in the same proportional way this rule will of course be valid as long as the st1 st2 st3 st4 valve settings and are not changed and even in a situation where there uh, where there are changes on individual branches of the system e.g. st3 there will be a proportional change in the branches downstream st1 and st2 as well the proportional method works on this principle to balance the terminal units of a branch and in the same way the rule is valid for balancing the branches and the main pipelines what are the required tools we need differential pressure gauges we need technical documentation by the manufacturer we need enlarged installation it may require the technicians to be communicated through their mobiles uh, and the balancing procedure we have mainly three stages to do this balancing first we have to choose the first column to be balanced we have to close all main valves of the other columns. We have to fully open the column valve to be balanced and all valves downstream of the circuit, thus obtaining the, an overflow. We have to define the exact order of the column branch balancing by using a differential pressure gauge and measuring the instantaneous flow rate. It is possible to calculate the relationship ratio between the measured flow rate qm and the design flow rate qp in each branch then r equal to qm divided to qp balancing will start from the branches well with the maximum value r and that of course uh, are the most profitable this will gradually increase to the flow rate available for the other for the other uh, system branches. Balancing the flow rate to the terminal unit of branch. Measure the flow rate of each terminal unit Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4 with the balancing valve fully open. Calculate the RU of each terminal unit are you equal to qm divided to qp the unit uh, with the smallest ru will be called ru minimum will be reference set st1 to get ru value st1 95 percent of ru minimum and fix the setting that will be used as reference a differential pressure gauge must be installed on the st1 valve to monitor the dp value during subsequent steps 
set the next valve ST2 to be to obtain the same RU value of ST1 reference valve value. Uh, ST1 RU A will increase slightly. We set the ST2 valve uh, to obtain the same RU value for ST1. Proceeding in reverse in the direction of the pump, switch to ST3 and then to ST4 to get the same value RU for ST1. Some changes upstream of the two the terminal units will obviously affect and modify the downstream unit by the same ratio. When all units are balanced on one of one with the other, work on ST1 to obtain RU ST1 equal to 1 automatically, all other units will have the correct flow rates. Use the same balancing method for all terminal units of other branches in the same zone or column. Second stage. The second phase consists of balancing all system branches as in figure 2.4. So as we see here, we already balanced the uh, first column here. So we will go to the next column in the system, which is static 4, static 5, static 6. So uh, when we are going like this, we will repeat the same steps as stage number 1, except, uh, except when we reach to the uh, stage, uh, in this stage, there is one important step which is uh, to balance the ST6 main valve to obtain ST1 equal 1 so all other flow rates will automatically be corrected. The branches of all other columns can be equally matched. Uh, in the third stage we will do the same but we are going to balance the column between the columns between them. So the columns must be balanced between the measure of the flow uh, rate in all columns with all the valve the valves open define the smallest value of R that will be called R U minimum set ST4 reference to obtain ST4 equal to 95% minimum then block the valve and mount the differential pressure gauge on the same for continuous monitoring set ST5 returning to the pump to get R uh, ST5 equal to R ST4. In doing this, the R ST4 will slightly increase. So continue to to reset ST5 until uh, R ST5 new value equal to new value of R ST4, which is obtained. Now block ST5 in this setting position, then proceeding in reverse in the direction and reverse in the direction of the pump consider ST6 which needs to be set obtain to obtain RST4 equal to RST5 equal to RST6 balance the R uh, the ST9 main valve to obtain RST4 equal to 1 all other flow rates will automatically be corrected the branches and all the terminals uh, units and now correctly are now correctly let's take an example for a system with uh, with many circuits and we will first define the uh, furthest or the least circuit favored circuit in which this circuit may suffer from less flow due to the distance from the pump so in this we can use the differential pressure gauge to measure the uh, differential pressure thus we can get the required flow here or the measured flow in this uh, in this unit and we can uh, divide it to the design flow this actually because of less flow here we can get 95% uh, 
uh, of R value. Uh, at this point, the flow through this terminal is likely will be below design flow. So here is the formula to calculate the flow based on the delta P, which is measured. Uh, we have some constants and some variables. Uh, we have variables like diameter. Uh, we can go to the next FCU, we will do the same, we will measure the next least favored and uh, next we will get also, we will do the same in the next FCU and then we will get the, the branch itself balanced. We will go to the next uh, favored least favored circuit next to branch note that there is interaction between bars and any one is throttled the flow through the others increased in this circuit actually we have 105 that's why because of throttling uh, because of throttling the measured or the balanced circuit we will go to the next as well we will go to the next uh, uh, unit we will do the same we will get the same uh, balancing and the last one and finally we will set up the main valve of this circuit to be equal thus we can get uh, this both circuits balance together in the same value and to return to the design values we will uh, uh, set the main valve of the system here to be balanced the flow to balance the flow uh, to set the system design flow then we can get our system as proportionally balanced system so this is ST9, RST9, we will get it, uh, and we will finally get RST4 equal to 1. With this example, we came to the end of our video. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.